I mean, it's in a ponytail. Okay. So, three, <laughs> two, one. How's it going, guys? We're here with George Schwartz's cousin. <laughs> hey. First and last name. My name is Olivia Diedrichson. Olivia Diedrichson. And I was at a raw alignment talk, and uh, Olivia asked Elise a question, and she asked, what do I do if I have so many passions and I can't just choose one? And sometimes when I go for a passion, I fail and I think like maybe that's just not the one for me. Maybe I should do something else. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you feel it's like overwhelming to have so many passions, not sure which direction to go. Yeah, exactly. Um, like it all started, like my first really, really big passion, right, was musical theater. and. And I did it in school. I got all the leads in like the plays and the musicals and and I just kind of set this standard for myself and like I was Broadway bound and and I went to school for it right afterwards and then after I graduated from the school afterwards I just discovered I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I just I just stopped so I just stopped it. I didn't want to audition. I didn't want to wake up in the morning. And, and I was a little bit lost and then throughout life I've just been finding like yoga and like oh well, maybe I should try out yoga and maybe I should do yoga teaching. I got my yoga teacher certification and now I feel like I can't do that. I feel like I have this block in there and then I um, picked up ukulele, picked up guitar and, and I feel like I'm picking up all of these passions. I started making jewelry. <laughs> I, I, and and it's as if I can't stick to one thing and it's overwhelming and then when I don't do any of my my passions any of the things that I'm loving to do I start to feel bad about myself like it's just this weird thing and I just I can't pick myself up to just do it it's this mental block and it's something I'm really trying to get over <laughs> you just tried to skateboard just there and I did and you didn't make it but you had fun doing it right I did I did. Do you feel bad about doing that? Like these two guys right now? <laughs> yeah, <I'm>... man. <laughs> That's how you do it? That's how you do it, bro. <laughs> Is that so, rain? Do you actually feel bad for that? No, you just, you're like, fuck it, that was fun. Uh, it was fun, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a fucking moment. It was, it was really fun. It took me a few tries to get up, but I stayed on at the end, right? Yeah, and it's not like you're, like, gonna be a professional skateboarder now because of that. Right. You never wanted to be, you just wanted to try it for fun. Right. So it's alright to do stuff for fun. But it's like, if you want to make a, a career out of something, really, in 2016, mm -hmm. like, in nature, okay, maybe we wouldn't need to make careers or stuff. We could do whatever, whenever, however, if ever, in whatever way, shape, or form we want. Right. But it's 2016, we all got to kind of, like, make some money and and um, get by in the society. Yeah. And a lot of us think the best way to go about doing that is, like, go to school or, like, get a job or something or maybe, like, sell jewelry online or whatever to, like, sell stuff. Make, like, just people focus on making money. So just because you need to make money doesn't mean you focus on making money. Instead, you focus on making meaning by doing what you absolutely love to do more than anything else. And just by making meaning, you will somehow, and you don't know how, make money. But the fact is, whatever you love to do, someone's making money doing it right now. Right. And... People keep telling me that. People keep telling me, just, just do it, right? Like, just don't think about the money. Don't think about what the future is going to be like, what the future has in store, and and just like set the vision and and go for it. And I don't know. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough. Maybe I'm not seeing the vision clear enough. But. Or maybe I just have a patience problem. You'll be able to see the vision clear enough once you make the vision clear enough. Right. You have to create the vision. It's not going to just all of a sudden come into a dream. Like, you got to create... Some people say, oh, I woke up and had this vision. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice for like 0. 0.00001% of the population. But regular people like you and me and everyone watching, create a vision. Get a piece of paper. Write down my ideal life in the middle. Draw a circle around it. Start branching out. Say my ideal relationship. My ideal family. My ideal spiritual life. My ideal career. My ideal... Um, uh, businesses, you know? Yeah. My, my ideal diet, my ideal nutrition, my ideal health. Mm -hmm. Just create the vision. Have you done that yet? Yeah, I have. I have. And 
And I guess it's just I'm having a hard time waiting for it. I think that's what it is. So I'm kind of like, am I wasting time, right? Am I wasting time trying this out and trying that out? And like seeing with like, um, with the the yoga getting the trainings in it and and that's silly to think because of course it's benefiting me so why am i even thinking that like i'm of course i'm not wasting money because i'm going to be able to use it for the rest of my life but i just get in my head too much and 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 then what i notice is i start telling other people when i get excited for things and then i hear it all the time from them like saying like oh like are you doing that like have you right, right, right. have you like i heard you were gonna go do this and you were really excited about it and like are you doing it and then if i'm not doing it i feel what are three things you're fucking good at right now right okay what are they singing you're good at singing <laughs> Talking to people. You're talking I'm to very people. Extroverted, and um, in my top three, singing, talking to people, and yeah. Um, so you good at two things. That's fine. Are you playing ukulele? Playing ukulele. So I'm making music. Good with kids. Good with kids. Good with music and mm -hmm. like talking to people. So just focus on those things. Those are your strengths, and I'm guessing those are things you like to do as well. Yeah. So that you're good at them, and you love to do them. Right. So just do those and do nothing else. You can play around with little things like the skateboard and stuff, and play around with some other, whatever else you want, but just focus on those three things, and things are going to take off. Like dedicate the next like five years to those things and watch what happens. Like you'll be so far ahead of where you are now. Yeah. So dabbling and dibbling and all these things that you're not even really, really good at. Already do what you're already good at. It's like, your brain cells are good at being brain cells, so keep them in the brain. Don't take your brain cells and put them in your liver. They could, we'll try and be a liver cell for a bit. They're gonna suck. Might as well have them in your brain. So just like, the, the best hockey players, the best forwards, the best defenses, they play their position. Play your position. Don't try and play a different position. Just because maybe it makes more money or someone else is doing it, your parents think you should do it, or your friends are doing it. Just do your strengths, quadruple down on your strengths. Only work on your strengths. And forget your weaknesses. No one gives a fuck about your weaknesses. I suck at so many things, it's, yeah. it's embarrassing. Yeah. But I don't care. Because, whatever, I'm, I'm good at what I'm good at, and that's all I do. Yeah. So, just do that. Find out what you're really good at, and just do that, forget the rest. I guess another thing is, is like, also what she said in her speech, it was something that came up, I think, in people's questions was comparing yourself to other people who are doing what you love. Oh, yeah. And it's like, they did it why am i not doing it right that that good to have role models yeah but at the same time know that you have something that they don't have you've got shit that they wish they had you've got so much that they wish they had yeah i definitely don't think about that so just keep, it, <laughs> keep, keep them as role models look up to them you know but um just be you you're way better than them in so many other ways but battery's about to die we okay. gotta go. Maybe right. maybe a part two coming soon. This is good, guys. <laughs> we can go. We can go a lot deeper on this. But anyways, yeah, peace out. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Adios. <laughs> say uh, say uh, goodbye to Panama. Goodbye, Panama. No, I miss in, 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 in oh. Espanol. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> ciao. Adios. Ciao. See, you can speak Spanish too. Yeah, you can speak Spanish. I, I speak a little bit of Spanish. Oh, I thought you. I thought tu hablas español perfecto. See. Si? See. Si, verdad. Si? Verdad. Oh, verdad. Uh, no practico, uh, practico. mucho, no practico ah, mucho, sí. Same, same. Practique, 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 es muy importante. Sí, sí, es muy, muy importante, pero... Um, pero... Pero... <laughs> pero... Tu, tu no gusta? Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta, verdad, verdad. Me, me gusta español. Pero, mm. pero, pero no, no practiqué. No tiempo. No tiempo. No Georgie aquí. No Georgie aquí, sí. No Georgie aquí. Okay. Peace out. Adiós. Peace. What I like about eating a fruit-based diet is how much energy it gives me. The number one thing I like about eating a fruit-based diet is the community of all these people. Super genuine, super passionate, and you meet these people and it's, and it's medicine for your soul.